In the fields of nonlinear optics and fluid dynamics, modulational instability or sideband instability is a phenomenon whereby deviations from a periodic waveform are reinforced by nonlinearity, leading to the generation of spectral sidebands and the eventual breakup of the waveform into a train of pulses. The phenomenon was first discovered minus and modeled minus for periodic surface gravity waves, Stokes waves on deep water by T. Brooke Benjamin and Jim E. Fair, in 1967. Therefore, it is also known as the Benjamin minus Fair instability. It is a possible mechanism for the generation of rogue waves. Topic: <laughs> Initial instability and gain. Modulation instability only happens under certain circumstances. The most important condition is anomalous group velocity dispersion, whereby pulses with shorter wavelengths travel with higher group velocity than pulses with longer wavelength. This condition assumes a focusing Kerr nonlinearity, whereby refractive index increases with optical intensity. The instability is strongly dependent on the frequency of the perturbation. At certain frequencies, a perturbation will have little effect, whilst at other frequencies, a perturbation will grow exponentially. The overall gain spectrum can be derived analytically, as is shown below. Random perturbations will generally contain a broad range of frequency components, and so will cause the generation of spectral sidebands which reflect the underlying gain spectrum. The tendency of a perturbing signal to grow makes modulation instability a form of amplification. By tuning an input signal to a peak of the gain spectrum, it is possible to create an optical amplifier. Topic. Mathematical derivation of gain spectrum The gain spectrum can be derived by starting with a model of modulation instability based upon the nonlinear Schrödinger equation A Z plus I beta 2 2 A T 2 equals I gamma a two A display style frac partial a partial Z plus I beta underscore two frac partial carrot two a partial T carrot two equals I gamma a carrot two A which describes the evolution of a complex valued slowly varying envelope a display style a with time T display style T and distance of propagation Z display style Z the imaginary unit I display style I satisfies I 2 equals minus 1 display style I carrot 2 equals minus 1 the model includes group velocity dispersion described by the parameter beta 2 display style beta underscore 2 and Kerr nonlinearity with magnitude gamma display style gamma a periodic waveform of constant power p display style p is assumed this is given by the solution a equals P E I gamma P Z display style a equals sqrt P E carrot I gamma P Z where the oscillatory E I gamma P Z display style E carrot I gamma P Z Phase factor accounts for the difference between the linear refractive index, and the modified refractive index, as raised by the Kerr effect. The beginning of instability can be investigated by perturbing this solution as A equals P plus epsilon T Z E I gamma P Z 
Display style a equals left sqrt p plus var epsilon t z right e caret i gamma p z, where epsilon t z display style var epsilon t z is the perturbation term, which, for mathematical convenience, has been multiplied by the same phase factor as a display style a. Substituting this back into the nonlinear Schrödinger equation gives a perturbation equation of the form epsilon z plus i beta two two epsilon t two equals i gamma p epsilon plus Epsilon display style frac partial var epsilon partial z plus i beta underscore two frac partial caret two var epsilon partial t caret two equals i gamma p left var epsilon plus var epsilon caret asterisk right, where the perturbation has been assumed to be small, such that epsilon two p Display style var epsilon caret two LLP. The complex conjugate of epsilon display style var epsilon is denoted as epsilon display style var epsilon caret asterisk. Instability can now be discovered by searching for solutions of the perturbation equation which grow exponentially. This can be done using a trial function of the general form. Epsilon equals C one E I K M Z minus I Omega M T plus C two E minus I K M Z plus I Omega M T Display style var epsilon equals C underscore one E carrot ik underscore M Z I Omega underscore M T plus C underscore two E carrot ik underscore M carrot asterisk Z plus I Omega underscore M T where K M Display style k underscore m and omega m display style omega underscore m are the wave number and real valued angular frequency of a perturbation and c one display style c underscore one and c two display style c underscore two are constants. The nonlinear Schrödinger equation is constructed by removing the carrier wave of the light being modeled, and so the frequency of the light being perturbed is formally zero. Therefore, omega m display style omega underscore m and k m display style k underscore m don't represent absolute frequencies and wave numbers, but the difference between these and those of the initial beam of light. It can be shown that the trial function is valid, provided c two equals c one. Display style c underscore two equals c underscore one caret asterisk, and subject to the condition k m equals plus or minus beta 2 2 omega m 4 plus 2 gamma p beta 2 omega m 2 
Display style k underscore m equals p m s q r t beta underscore two carrot two omega underscore m carrot four plus two gamma p beta underscore two omega underscore m carrot two. This dispersion relation is vitally dependent on the sign of the term within the square root, as if positive, the wave number will be real, corresponding to mere oscillations around the unperturbed solution, whilst if negative, the wave number will become imaginary, corresponding to exponential growth and thus instability. Therefore, instability will occur when beta 2 2 omega m 2 plus 2 gamma p beta 2 o display style beta underscore 2 carrot 2 omega underscore m carrot 2 plus 2 gamma p beta underscore 2 that is for omega m 2 minus 2 gamma p beta 2 display style omega underscore m carrot 2 this condition describes the requirement for anomalous dispersion such that gamma beta 2 display style gamma beta underscore 2 is negative the gain spectrum can be described by defining a gain parameter as g2 km display style g equiv 2 im k underscore m so that the power of a perturbing signal grows with distance as p e g z display style p e carrot g z the gain is therefore given by g equals 2 minus beta 2 2 omega m 4 minus 2 gamma p beta 2 omega m 2, for omega m 2 minus 2 gamma p beta 2, 0. For omega m 2 minus 2 gamma p beta 2, display style g equals begin cases 2 sqrt beta underscore 2 carrot 2 omega underscore m carrot 4 minus 2 gamma p beta underscore 2 omega underscore m carrot 2 and text for display style omega underscore m carrot 2, whereas noted above, omega m display style omega underscore m is the difference between the frequency of the perturbation and the frequency of the initial light. The growth rate is maximum for omega 2 equals minus gamma p, beta 2. Display style omega caret 2 equals gamma p, beta underscore 2. Topic: Modulation instability in soft systems. Modulation instability of optical fields has been observed in photochemical systems, namely, photopolymerizable medium. Modulation instability occurs owing to inherent optical nonlinearity of the systems due to photoreaction induced changes in the refractive index. Modulation instability of spatially and temporally incoherent light is possible owing to the non instantaneous response of photoreactive systems, which consequently responds to the time average intensity of light, in which the femtosecond fluctuations cancel out. 